What does that sign mean? God only requires 10% of your income. Does he? That's or what she? It says. <laughs> and uh, um, what what significance does that have to? Here you go. Why I don't you came think out I need today? to say anything, do I? It's all written right here for you. I don't know. Could you maybe elaborate a little bit? Do I need to? Well, Stop it would be Stop spending helpful. our kids' money. Do you need an explanation for that? Do, do you if think you do, that? I'm worried. Do that you think that tax that taxes are are higher now than they have been in the past, or are you are you worried about? Ah, congressional socialists. Yes. Let capitalism live. Let capitalism rule. Capitalism rule. God bless you. We need to continue to stand up and fight for our rights as American people. And we need to learn to be proud. We need to learn to say no more nice. So I would like everybody here to sing this song. God bless America. God bless America. Land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wine with fall. Over here because it was really coming out good over here. Uh, George needs to work on that a little bit. Hi, my name is Jim Stanley and I just want to say first of all that I'm so proud to be here with people like you who love God and unlike Michelle Obama who have loved our country our whole lives and who don't want anything from this country except to worship our God, protect and provide for our families, and provide for our for charity as our God and our religions and our conscience tells us. Not as some bureaucrat in Washington makes us. That's not charity. The last thing I want to say is, read the Tenth Amendment, and Washington, this is for you. Read the Tenth Amendment or find out why we have a Second Amendment. I'm sorry, I just gotta tell you guys something. He and I knew each other when we had hair. First of all, I'd like to thank this gentleman here for reminding all of us of uh, it is a uh, you know, God, family, and country. It's a very simple process. Pray the Lord, pass the ammunition. I'd first like to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to this republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A lot of you have asked what this means. Uh, it's a number that came to me in 1987, in fact, and not until recently is it really have I begun to understand what it really is all about. But God, family, country, yeah. In God we trust, yes. e pluribus unum, yeah. and liberty. Yeah. Personal and the national principles and values by which this country was created, of course. It's all about principles and values, and of course, yeah. we've yeah. lost our way in that regard. You know, uh, those with faith are generally happier, more balanced people. Yeah. Happier, balanced people make good, strong families. Good, strong families make good, strong communities. Strong communities make good, strong states. Strong states make a strong country. And as for our national principles, <laughs> this is one thing that uh, it's there for everybody to see. It's on all of our money. Oh, that's right. There's the coin that they just made that uh, it's missing something. We should find out who made that decision and fire them. In God we trust, that's obvious. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. 
And of course, that's been turned upside down. Now it's out of one many. And uh, liberty, well, that speaks for itself also. No country, actually the two greatest things, that two, the two primary things that make this such a great country is we are a religious people, humbled by that, and we have, we're given an unprecedented amount of freedom. And that's really what made it, made it, <laughs> made us great. Yes. <laughs> my name is Anthony Colch, and my mission is to get this symbol on a million cars within two years. So when mommy or when when the son is next to his mommy, mommy, what is that? She can, you know, tell him, and uh, we can stay focused and balanced on the mission ahead. Thank you very much. Now raise your hand. Raise your hand. I promise to protect and defend my constitution. I promise, I promise to be vigilant in defense of my constitution. I pledge that I will help, I will work, I will use my fingers and my voice and my phone. And I will bring and activate five more people next time. At a minimum. And if it takes my gun to get it there, that's what it will be. God bless all y'all and God bless America.